people. We come in all shapes and sizes. Sometimes it seems we can't do much about what shape and size we are, but we can. You see, the body is like a factory. It takes in food and uses it to keep our body going. When the body gets more food than it needs, it begins to store what's left over. Here, here, and here, and here. If Fred here walks 11 kilometers a day, it will take him a year to lose 25 kilos of fat and get back to his correct weight. If he does less exercise, he could be at it for years. He can get rid of this fat, this stored up energy, by using it up. Or he can try cutting down on the amount of food he eats. If he cuts down his intake of high energy food and sticks to a low calorie diet, he should lose weight. He could lose two and a half kilos of fat per month. Some months, he may not lose any weight at all. Losing those unwanted kilos is difficult. It's much easier not to put them on in the first place. So where should we start? At the beginning, of course. Some expectant mothers think they need to eat twice as much. Everything seems twice as difficult. Or twice as far. But you see, expectant mothers rest a lot more. So they don't really need to eat much more. Expectant mothers who watch their diet should end up like this. Expectant mothers who don't could end up like this. If anything, mothers should eat a lot more after the baby is born, especially if they're breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is economical. Baby likes it, and the milk comes pre-mixed and pre-packaged. There are other ways, of course, and millions of babies survive and prosper on commercial milk formulas and cow's milk. But there are problems. Baby is often made to finish the bottle. Then, of course, some mothers love their baby so much, they think a level teaspoon of formula is not enough. Result, fat baby. Research indicates that fat babies turn into fat people. Children like little Freddy here are a different problem. Sometimes restless or energetic, he doesn't eat enough at mealtimes. He should be allowed snacks between meals, but he shouldn't get them from the TV commercials. Uh-oh, Fred, here's Mary doing the right thing. So what are you going to do now, Fred? Into the carbohydrates again, hmm? The number of overweight children in Australia doubled in one recent 10-year period. 80% of those overweight children became overweight adults. Some people eat food when they're hungry. Smart girl, Mary. But some people, yes, you, Fred, eat whenever they're bored. He'll never learn. Every time he goes near a shop, or whenever he sees food, Freddy is hungry. A ten-year-old boy will eat more than most grown women. But they need the right kind of food, and they need plenty of exercise. When children reach their teens, exercise is extremely important. Teenagers grow in stages. Overweight Kerry doesn't eat any more than her friends, but she burns up less energy. She could look better if she was more active. Oh dear, why not get out there and groove? The girl who's overweight may become lonely and bored. And this could lead to further 
overeating. George is 25. He has a nice job. He works in an office. People can start putting on weight at any age, but some stages in life are more dangerous than others. For instance, when George was 18, he used to play squash. Good one, George. And he used to go dancing and generally get around. Oh, but now, well, he just sits at a desk all day. And sits in front of the telly all night. The trouble with George is he still eats what he used to eat when he was 18. When George was 18, he was burning up 12,000 kilojoules a day. Now he only burns 10,000 kilojoules a day. So he's gaining weight at the rate of one and a half kilos a month. If George wants to keep eating at this rate, he should get a job as a miner, or cleaner, or jog for an hour every day. When he's 45, George will need to cut down his food intake even further. But will he? No, George will probably take business lunches. Sorry, George. And have business conferences after work. If George's wife doesn't kill him, all those kilojoules will. Mind you, George's wife Gladys could have her own problems. She puts on a nice spread, a middle-aged spread. By eating more than they should, or exercising less than they could, this happy couple has earned the right to a wide range of expensive prizes. They could suffer from arthritis, high blood pressure, varicose veins, or heart failure. If George and his wife want a long and happy life together, they'll stop eating high energy snacks, and fatty desserts. They'll cut down on alcohol. Oh, George. Then they'll choose lean cuts of meat and trim the fat. They'll also substitute meat with fish or poultry several times a week. Smart move, George and Gladys. And here's another. They'll engage in mild but regular exercise. Life wasn't meant to be easy, but it can be fun. It's all a question of balance.